Welcome to this video. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to add frame markers in ToonSquid and how you can use them in combination with symbols to speed up animation workflows such as lip syncing. Adding frame markers is very simple. You just tap the play cursor and select set marker. Now you can add a comment to it and change its highlight color. Up here, you can define which frames of your animation this marker belongs to. We can, for example, extend the marker to cover the range from frame 1 to frame 5. The small trash button down here is how we can delete a marker. Before moving on, let's quickly talk about what a symbol is. In ToonSquid, a symbol is a reference to a separate animation, which you can then insert into a different timeline one or more times. For example, in the ToonSquid demo animation, I made this simple loop of a flying macaw in a separate animation clip. This allows me to then insert this animation a bunch of times in my main timeline, like you can see here. And if I ever want to edit the original animation, I can just edit it once in its own clip and the changes immediately show up in all of the symbols. You can create a symbol either from an existing animation layer, a drawing, or via the library. The separate animation clips can then all be found in the library. We are now going to use the combination of symbols and frame markers to speed up the process of lip syncing. In this scene, we have a simple character and an audio layer with the following sentence. Welcome to this video. In order to animate the lips of this character in sync with the audio, what I've done is I've created a symbol for the mouth. We can tap here on edit clip in order to open it. In this clip, I have 12 drawings, each one showing a different mouth expression. You can also see that I've used frame markers to label each one with the letters or sounds that the mouth expression corresponds to. With this setup, we can now go back to our main timeline, select the mouth symbol and in the inspector, under time, tap on select from markers. This shows us all of the different frame markers in our mouth symbol. If we select one of these, a new time keyframe gets inserted, which will cause our symbol layer to show the frame of the selected marker. The keyframes have a hold easing curve, which means that this pose is held until we add another keyframe. And just like this, we can now scrub through our timeline, listen to the audio on each frame, and just pick the corresponding mouth shape from the inspector. And this is what the final result looks like. Welcome to this video. In the mouth example, each frame marker was only one frame long. However, the same process also works for markers that span multiple frames. For the eyes, for example, I've created a symbol which on its first frame contains the normal open eye pose and between frame 2 and frame 6 contains a blinking animation, both of which are tagged with frame markers. In our main timeline, we can now select the open marker on frame 1 and then move our play cursor to wherever we want our character to blink and select blink. This inserts two keyframes with linear easing, which will play the blinking animation section of the eye symbol. You can see that this is a very powerful feature which can be used for far more than just the two examples we've seen here. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments for me to answer. And if you already use ToonSquid and enjoy it, please leave a rating or review on the App Store. That helps a lot and would be deeply appreciated. Thank you very much for watching.